So recently I've been teaching a class that while it's not solely devoted to graph theory, we're doing a little section on graph theory. And well, we did a result or I presented a result in that class that I thought I'd make a video about because it was pretty interesting. And it's on the number of three cycles in a complete graph. But maybe before getting started, let's recall that a complete graph is a graph where there's one and only one edge between every vertex. So here we've got four vertices and notice that there is an edge from this lower left vertex to this one over here in the lower right, this one up here in the upper left, and this one up here in the upper right. And that's true for all of the vertices. Okay, so let's go over here and look at the result. So we'll end up proving that the number of three cycles in a complete graph with n vertices is the binomial coefficient n choose three. And now as a little bit of exploration, let's maybe see that that holds in these two cases. This complete graph on four vertices, and then over here, this complete graph on five vertices. So I think we can count them up pretty easily. So notice here we've got a three cycle. Recall that three cycles are simply triangles. So there we've got one, and then we've got another one here, two, and then let's see, we've got one here, which is three, and then finally we've got one more, which makes four. So here we've got four total three cycles, but let's observe that four is the same thing as four choose three. Recall that four choose three is four times three times two, over three factorial, which clearly simplifies down to the number four. So counting them up in this case will take a little bit longer, but I think it's doable. So let's see, we've got this one on the top right here, so that's one. And then we have a companion one on the side here, and then on the side here, and then on the side here. So that makes a total of four. And then let's see, we've got one pointing up the middle, so that makes five, and then one here, which makes six, and then maybe the companion one over here, which is seven. And then we've got three more we haven't seen yet, like this one right here that's kind of pointing to the side, so that would make eight, and then another one right here, and then another one right here, so that makes nine and 10. So all in all, we have 10, but let's observe that that is, well, the same thing as five choose three, because five choose three is five times four times three over three factorial, which is three times two. Observe that these threes cancel, this two cancels this four down to a two, and then, well, that clearly multiplies to 10. Okay, let's see how we can prove this in general. Okay, so we'll prove this claim by induction, and let's observe that the base case is already done. Well, the base case is really the case when you have three vertices, and clearly there's only one three cycle there. But then we also checked it kind of by hand for the n equals four, as well as the n equals five case. And now we'll make an induction hypothesis. So let's suppose that for some k bigger than or equal to three, we have a complete graph with k vertices, and it has k choose three, three cycles. And then next up, we wanna consider the complete graph with k plus one vertices. So I've arranged them like this. So this is a little bit messy. So maybe I'll make the vertices magenta here. So I've got my number one vertex, my number two, my number three vertex, four, and then over here, k minus one, k, and k plus one. And now the way that we're gonna do this is count up two flavors of three cycles, if you will. So let's first count up the number of three cycles where k plus one is a vertex. So let's observe that that's pretty clearly equal to the number of two element, two element subsets of the set from one to k. Because if we've got k plus one as a vertex, well then we have to choose two more vertices. But since this is a connected graph, that means we can choose any two other vertices. But that's exactly the same as making a two element subset of 
a k element set, but that's exactly what binomial coefficients were invented for. So the number of three cycles from this flavor is equal to k choose two. And then next up, we want the number of three cycles where k plus one is not a vertex. But in fact, that's even easier to calculate because if k plus one is not a vertex, then it's exactly the number of three cycles from a k vertex complete graph. But then by the induction hypothesis, that is k choose three. But now notice that we have the number of three cycles where k is a vertex and the number where k is not a vertex. Well, that exactly counts all possible three cycles one time, meaning that the total number is in fact equal to k choose two plus k choose three. But then that's exactly like adding two things on the same row right next to each other in the Pascal's triangle but then that's going to descend to the next level, which is going to give you the entry k plus one choose three. But that's exactly where we needed to end up to finish this proof. And that's a good place to stop.